On 27 February 2019 the world witnessed an aerial combat between the two arch rivals of the region, India and Pakistan. An Indian MiG-21 Bison was shot down by PAF and its pilot was captured. India claimed that an F-16 was shot down but it failed to provide any substantial evidence justifying its claim. Pakistan also claimed kill of another IAF fighter jet, the modern Su-30MKI. The result of aerial combat of 27 February 2019 was somewhat in favor of PAF considering the fact that India has a mighty air force with every modern fighter jet and advanced armaments in its inventory. However, the irony is that India despite having many modern fighters and superior numeric strength as well feels threatened by the limited number of modern PAF F-16s and believes that the result of aerial combat on 27 February 2019 would have been different if they had raffles. All these facts doesn't mean that PAF is in perfect state and require no modernization. PAF is still in an acute need of a modern twin-engine fighter to counter the threats from India. IAF is going to induct a full squadron of the ultra-modern twin-engine French Rafale aircrafts in start of 2020, of which the first one will be delivered to their defense minister in France this month. India is already having significant number of Su-30 MKIs in its fleet. Both these aircrafts are considered very capable fighters. The most capable aircraft type PAF has in its inventory is single-engine multi-role F-16C, B Block 52 Plus which PAF started receiving in 2010. They are around 22 in number. The older F-16s of PAF are also upgraded to Block 52 Plus standard. Total number of F-16s stand at 76. These aircrafts are very capable but are numerically outnumbered by IAF fleet. Besides, PAF also has indigenous JF-17 Thunderblock I and Block II aircrafts which are quite capable fighters but are not designed to take on a ultra-modern multi-role fighter like Rafale in an air combat. So in order to maintain a power balance PAF must acquire a modern capable twin-engine fighter, in my opinion. So what are options for Pakistan? U.S. fighters like F-15 Strike Eagle or others are not an option for Pakistan because U.S. is no more willing to sail its weapons to Pakistan and more importantly economic situation of Pakistan does not permit such expensive deals. The same is true for Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Raffles. Chinese twin-engine fighters like J-11 are easy to acquire for Pakistan but Pakistan is already relying too much on Chinese military hardware and these are still not a match to other modern 4 plus generation twin-engine fighters. The best option for Pakistan therefore appears to acquire the Russian Suhoi-35 fighters. Su-35 is a multi-role, super-maneuverable, twin-engine 4 plus generation fighter. These jets have every capability to take on any modern fighter and to perform other roles. Moreover, acquisition of these aircrafts will enhance the defense relationship between Russia and Pakistan. Earlier Pakistan used to rely heavily on U.S. weapons whereas India had mostly Russian military hardware. Now India is diversifying its weapons and has turned towards Western weapons whereas Pakistan has become the largest buyer of Chinese weapons. In August 2018, it was reported that Pakistan was having talks with Russia to acquire its military hardware including fighter jets. But no progress was made and no deal was materialized regarding fighter jets. To prevent the shift of power balance towards India, Pakistan should acquire aircrafts like Su-35 as early as possible and efforts should be made regarding this. As India is going to induct French raffles in start of 2020 so the need for a modern twin-engine fighter for PAF has become more important. Pakistan is also working on its own indigenous program for a fifth-generation fighter with the assistance of China known as Project AZM. It will provide Pakistan with a state-of-the-art stealth fighter but realization of this program will take a few more years at least. So a limited number of fighters like Su-35 before Pakistan has its own fifth-generation fighter will greatly boast defense capabilities of Pakistan and will keep a power balance in region. Yeah.